who is your most hated TV character of all time? Like your least favorite? <sighs> um, my most hated TV character of all time. What's your, what's 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 um what's the what's the son from uh power? What's his name? Oh Tariq. 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 Yeah, get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, Tariq was Tariq, all right. Yeah. So Tariq was trash, but Tariq was in a trash environment. But he was in a he grew up in a fucking penthouse in fucking in Midtown. Yeah, but like this his parents were wildin'. Yeah, but still <laughs> you said he grew up in a trash environment. How? Did you watch season one and two? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his mom is, is fucking the driver in the, <laughs> his dad, the garage his dad of the fucking, fucking the feds. His little sister died. Like, well, it's his fault. His little sister died. But. Big facts. No, Tariq wild out and like, what are you doing, bro? You're in a, you're, yeah, he was awful. you're in Manhattan and like, why are you trying to go out to fucking Queens to shoot people? Like, I get it. Teach me the game, Ghost. Look at that. Ain't no his parents. That's him. But you can't say Ghost was a good father. It's all I'm trying to I say. I never said that. But I, I never you have said to that. give Tariq Tariq is a piece of shit, but you have to give him some, some leeway and understanding when your father is an absolute awful nah, father. Tariq just wanted to be somebody he wasn't. If he would have just been himself, he would have been all right. Teach me the game, ghost. Like, he want to get into that lifestyle. That, that ain't you. Yeah. How would he it's know that you? without guidance? He's awful. What you mean? How he wouldn't know that without guidance? He had no guidance. The only thing he saw was his, his fucking dad, dad doing like wild dad. shit. Yeah. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't see that, like, at, at the beginning. He was, Once he, he got to of, of age, yeah, he started to see. And his father was fucking waking him up in the night with a gun. Like, come on, man. Tariq, Tariq is a piece of shit, but there's a reason why he's a piece yeah. of shit. No, nah, I think that's that, bad parenting. I think that Tariq just wanted to be become somebody he wasn't. That wasn't his lifestyle. That wasn't he was going to a great school in, in Midtown. He was grew up in a penthouse apartment. Like you, your, your family set you up for to stay on this path, go mm -hmm. this route. But no, you wanted to. Teach me the game, ghost. You want to learn this part of it. You want to be some street dude. You want to run around campus with bricks in your book bag. That's like all your nope. rappers got sons. Yeah, it's T.I. son. But T.I. got sons that ain't with none of that shit either, though. Yeah. You see well, what I'm saying? So Ray it's like... And, and what's the little just, one? Just, Kiki, know, Kiki, just, Kiki, just Kiki, be Kiki, yourself. Kiki. That's the easiest thing to... Just be... Don't try to be your dad. Be yourself. Rory, who is your, who's yours? Uh, what They have number three on this list is my number one. Yeah. Skylar White, Breaking Fuck Bad. her. I can't remember the end of Breaking Bad, so I will have to watch it again to remember what you she know, did. You know, she's the worst character. Another woman that... So why is Caillou up there? Yeah, Caillou caught a stray. They hate that nigga. <laughs> Caillou? <laughs> what the fuck did he do? I don't know, but they, he was annoying as fuck. Caillou was annoying. Kai, having Caillou with top 10 most hated TV characters is hilarious. Uh, Skyler, Skyler, like, again, when I'll give some understanding, was put in a fucking wild situation. She just took it. Way too fucking far. Mm. She sucked. She no, she was a fucking awful human being. But I mean, if your husband just starts fucking selling meth, <laughs> it's things are gonna change. Yeah. I have a lot of understanding for outside of the mother from Blow, I do have a lot of understanding for hated TV characters. Uh, another one for me, he's not listed on this list, but the son from Ozark is w one of the biggest pieces of shit. I still can't get through that dark ass show. Look, even this picture is dark. I hate that fucking show. I, you, you guys are so mean to kids. Last season. They dragged him out of their Chicago home <laughs> to go to Missouri to wash money. Yeah. That kid's going to end up okay. This kid, he, he, honestly, actually. How are you putting this on kids, children? Speaking of kids, they both sucked. The daughter, too. They were awful. They put their parents in so... They almost got them killed so much. Just shut the fuck up. You don't have to agree with the parents, but you're, what their actions almost got the family clapped like 15 times. Imagine you are in your suburban Chicago home all of your fucking life, and then all of a sudden, out of the sweep of the night, you have to go to the fucking rivers in Missouri because your dad's about to get killed by the cartel and you want me to figure out how to be a street guy? <laughs> that family yeah, Like, what the point. fuck are you talking? Like, has a point. 10 toes? I, nah, I'm a yeah. kid in the You're, suburbs of Chicago. Fuck with your family. You, in the middle of the night, you was like, yo, we out. Your whole life is about to change right now. Fuck your friends. Fuck everything you've ever known. Also hold it down when the cartel comes. I mean, sometimes... Bro, what? Sometimes you watch those I go. You watch those I go. Yeah, of course. Those kids fucked up so many times. Of course they did, but they're kids. Just shut up. Look at up. the look. Look what they went through. 
Man, stop that. Has anybody watched Handmaid's Tale? God, uh, I hate that bitch. Oh, that bitch God, right I there. That bitch. I never got into that. Uh, oh, I, I stopped. I, I, this is how bad she was. I stopped watching the show. <laughs> I quit after like season two. I couldn't finish. I was like, this bitch is the worst. What's her fucking name? June. Oh, my God. The main character pisses me off. This bitch. Like she, her face pisses me off. But that's like because that's because acting. she had no dialogue and she just had the same reaction to everything. Yeah, ugly ass face. Like just that's all she did. She didn't say much. I hated her. They I casted her, her so. great. Mom, you should so watch hateable. that show. It is a really good show, though. I heard it, but I just you mm, should you should watch never it. Never got into it. It is a it is a really really good show, but ooh, that bitch shot pissed really me well. off. It no. shocked you? No, I said it was shot really well. Like the oh yeah, it was shot really well. Yeah, beautiful. Have you watched? You would like it. Yeah, I, I like him as though. I think, she pissed me off through the whole thing as well, though. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Maul would like it. Obviously, the Game of Thrones characters, which neither of you guys have seen Game of Thrones, but um, yeah, they have some of the most hated characters because there was a lot of rape and murder. I've seen some of Game of Thrones. I just didn't finish it. I think I've seen so like the first three or four seasons. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, why did why'd you stop? I think another show had came on and I just got into that and then just I never went back to Game of Thrones. Speaking of of shows, uh, do you guys see they made a TED TV show? Remember TED? The, the Teddy Bear? Teddy yes. Bear? There's a series about him. Oh, well, that's failing because really? I haven't seen it's it. It's on Peacock. Oh, wow. I really want to watch it. It looks pretty funny. I mean, both TEDs were very... It's absurd. Very funny. But it's pretty much him. Oh, is it like... The he's beginning? in high school. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's Oh, funny. that would be funny. Yeah, I would check I, it out. I'm going to have to check yeah, it out. Seth is doing it. It's not a reboot. Yeah, right? Seth MacFarlane's... Yeah. See, I got, a, I, got a, I got a feeling if... I created a show like that. It would never get greenlit. Wow. Like, hey, there's a teddy bear that just talks and is obnoxious and... Smokes weed and... Well, I have yeah. a fun Every studio about I this pitched film. that to would be like, well, get, let me get the, the background. Yeah, but it's a little different <laughs> fuck when the you director. have family guys or... Like history. Yeah, yeah no, I, that's what I'm saying. But I still think that only Seth MacFarlane could have did that. I guess this show is pretty much uh, family guy, but in real life. There's a lot of like cutaway scenes or like ridiculous scenes that happen. I mean, in Ted, it had it too. Yeah. Not as much, but. Um, I guess the original script for Ted, though, this is what I was told. Could be wrong. Still fun to me. The original script for Ted was supposed to be uh, Mark Wahlberg's character and another guy. Mm -hmm. But then they were like, okay, this is too gay. It's a, it's a gay love story. So how do we make it less so gay? Teddy bear. Make him a bear. <laughs> yeah, that's less gay. That's because you know at the end they have like those gay ass moments. They're like I love you so much, I would never. So but like, what was a grown the grown man walking around with a teddy bear? What was the gay. brother adopted? Like, how do they? The premise of the entire thing. How do they even get to the gay loving? Like, are they siblings? The are gay they loving? Or was he adopted? I forgot the origin. Or are they just best Ted. friends? I think they were just homies. <laughs> and then saying something is too gay and then landed on a teddy bear is hilarious. Yeah, it's more believable. Um, I, I watched <laughs> this a, is more believable. Yeah. I watched a Bill Burr interview when he was talking about pitching F is for family. And they said, you should go cartoon with it because you can get a lot more shit off when people are cartoons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. South yeah. Like it's, le it's less dependent canceled. on somebody. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a cartoon. Like, oh, Teddy Bear said it. Yeah, you're getting mad at a teddy bear? Yeah. Even though it's a, the voice of the person that wrote it. <laughs> but... Uh, Sopranos fans here? No, twenty fifth anniversary. Twenty fifth anniversary. I'm hearing a lot. They're trying to lie on TikTok and saying, "Oh, mob wife aesthetic is in," and I'm like, "Oh, the Sopranos are doing great fucking marketing." Um, <laughs> R Ralphie from that era, you think would be one of the most hated? Uh, one of the Sopranos. People hated list. Ralphie. Yeah, but I, uh, I don't know. About Sopra that Sopranos was though. the most conflicting show, and that's the genius of it. Like. Everyone's a piece of shit, but you grow to love them and root for them. Mm -hmm. And then you also have to deal with how awful of human beings they are. Mm -hmm. Livia Soprano is on the list. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Tony's mother she's was number the six. fucking worst. Yeah, she's number six. I really want to watch this show. You she, never saw. She the reminds Sopranos? me a lot of some. I want to watch it too. No. Let's start it together. Y'all never saw Sopranos? No. no. Like I a single like episode. The first episode. I started like the first or second episode. I never tried it. And then I think I saw it when I was how? younger as a kid on TV once. It's the greatest show that's ever existed. How did y'all? How have y'all never seen an episode of Sopranos? I just, you know what it is for me. It's the same thing with for me and um, what's that? Succession. It's <gasps> I don't care about like rich white trauma. Oh, see, that's my favorite. If you genre. think. The Sopranos, the Sopranos is about rich, rich white, white trauma. trauma. Well, you are maybe take out the rich, but like it's just a, a, that's mob a, shit. Italian right? mob, like I just it doesn't do it for me. 
The uh, the fucking the other show that I named. You're talking about a show that you haven't seen, and I think that's why like ignorant to do. Well, it's not. <laughs> that's not what The Sopranos is about. Yeah. Okay, like see, not even a little bit. You see how he's getting about The Sopranos, right? But like when we bring up like Game of Thrones and shit, and he says, "I wouldn't. I'm not into that kind of thing." But he says he's yeah, not into Game that of Thrones kind of thing. is is. is but I don't. A bunch I don't of fucking pansies in the mountains, fucking fighting. Dragons see, I don't do this. And fucking the winter is coming. <laughs> you watched it. Put on a fucking coat, then. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> to tell you. Like what the fuck you mean the winter? The winter. Get a compass. Coming. I don't know the if the North is coming every year. Like what are you talking about? The North is coming. You see how he sounds ignorant. But I said that because that's what why he's going about the Sopranos and doesn't understand the show at all. The same way <clears throat> The Wire is so much more than drug dealers in Baltimore. It talks about the entire system of a city running down from the mayor down to the newspapers, down to the, like how it all trickles down. Mm -hmm. Sopranos was the first show ever to do something like that, have an anti-hero. TV was based off loving everyone. All the characters in Sopranos are pieces of shit that you want to love. That never happened. There's no Breaking Bad without Sopranos. They changed TV. Breaking Bad. TV so did not. Good. The way we saw the shift with okay, movies versus TV and TV just being some sitcom bullshit doesn't happen without Sopranos. We don't get Netflix. We don't get these binge series without Sopranos. It changed the entire thing. It brought mental health. Mental health was never trendy, was never talked about. A mob boss in therapy for a whole show? Yeah. If you think that shit is about rich white people no, and yeah. trauma. You were wrong about that. That show is the furthest thing from that entire. It's thing. a really good, and show. it talks, and it no, actually, but it actually shows hurt. the trickle down effect of white people that are rich within the mob, and how that affects the inner city communities too. It's the greatest show that's ever existed. No worries, mom. Man, were they lucky, Maul? They just got a sneak peek into our Patreon content to see the full episode and all our other Patreon episodes. Please go to patreon.com slash new Rory and Maul. Get access to our Discord chat, early releases on sketches, merch, maybe even date Maul for the for the right tier. That He's has, available. That has He's, to be the right tier. Okay. That's What's the price question. though for that? We can add that now. We're looking at a little 30K maybe. Okay. Yeah. I like that you own your value. Yeah, yeah. 30K. 30K and you can have sex with Maul. Yep. Let's do it. Patreon.com backslash Rory and Maul.